What's up, everybody, and welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. I know, right, bro? We're going to get to it right now, buddy. <laughs> All right, this is a response. Someone actually asked me because I myself use L-carnitine. I've talked about using L-carnitine, and my clients use L-carnitine. So I had, of course, clients come to me and say, Jerry, vegan gain said L-carnitine will fuck you up. It's going to kill you. Is that true? There's a study that says so. I said, okay. So now, you have to fight this with a study because it was done with a study. So you have to fight it with a study to prove that the study should, whatever. So he said that basically L-carnitine, not the saturated fat found in red meat, is the real culprit in heart disease risk. And that L-carnitine supplements are unsafe and have side effects. Um, it says, um, the, uh, the authors state that gut bacteria convert L-carnitine into a compound called trimethylene and oxide, TMAO. And they believe that TMAO, TMAO allows cholesterol buildup in artery walls, thereby raising heart disease risk. However, if carnitine is, is converted to TMAO, it is also highly unlikely to be a primary player in red meat's adverse effects, as the researchers have theorized, and here is why. Okay, so these researchers fucked up, which happens, okay? It happens. A pound of steak, and there's not many of you motherfuckers out there that are eating 16 ounces of steak fucking multiple times a day. A pound of steak has 400 milligrams of carnitine in it, some of which is likely converted to TMAO. But a pound of fish contains 1,700 milligrams of TMAO. So if TMAO is the real culprit, then why is fish not responsible for all kinds of heart disease and shit? It has much more TMAO than one the body would convert from L-carnitine found in the red meat. Universally accepted as being cardioprotective. Now, this poses a good point. So, these same scientists that tell you L-carnitine and red meat will fucking kill you are the ones that tell you you should eat cleaner meats like fish, which contain more of one of the things that they're blaming, or the main thing that they're blaming red meat for that's killing you, which is TMAO, which is not L-carnitine that is bad for you, but the TMAO conversion to that in large amounts are saying that is what would cause it. Now, I said, um, as for um, no study, no study at all, um, showed any side effects of L-carnitine with normal usage. Okay, and what that means is you're having 500 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams of L-carnitine that you're using, okay? Um, this said flat out, um, the suggestion that L-carnitine side effects are harmful it's simply a matter of guilt by association. The researchers state that when mice were fed human equivalent of 26,000 milligrams of L-carnitine. Let me tell you, if you try to take 26,000 milligrams of L-carnitine, you would widely, probably wind up fucking puking it back out and not even fucking digesting it. There's no fucking way you're going to take 26,000 milligrams of L-carnitine a day for any fucking period of time. Period. That is not going to fucking happen. They developed arterial blockages with 26,000 milligrams a day of L-carnitine. That equates to 26 to 52 times a normal supplement dose of 500 to 1,000 milligrams. Furthermore, all the news reports neg neg neglected excuse me, to mention any of the pu previous human clinical trials and other studies that demonstrate L-carnitine's significant benefits, including those studies using rabbits, which considered to be the best model of human heart disease. The bottom line is... Recommendation of 500 to 1,000 milligrams of supplemental L-carnitine a day will not cause any side effects. It's not going to cause fucking arterial blockage, heart attacks, fucking liver disease, kidney problems. It may not even cause any problems at all. What the fuck? So here's, here's the problem. While Vegan Gains decided to put out a video about, well, not specifically about that, but he started busting Rob Rich's balls. Okay, worst of fitness industry, Rob Riches. He puts out carnitine because, and he says something like, because obviously he wants to fucking kill everybody because he put out carnitine in his product. Okay, well, did you ever fucking look at that part of that study that said 26,000 milligrams? Do you understand what 26,000 milligrams of fucking anything is? I don't think you understand how big of a fucking dose that is. You don't take 26,000 fucking milligram dosages of fucking anything. Whether it's fucking Advil, vitamin fucking A, I mean, nothing. You, there's nobody that's taking that much shit of anything. And a lot of studies are done to find toxicity levels 
by using massive dosages of things that are 100% completely safe and naturally occurring in the body, okay? Water. Water is in the body. It's one of the most naturally occurring things in the entire fucking planet. You overdose on water within an hour, drink four gallons of water in an hour, you die. So does that automatically mean that, well, vegans shouldn't drink water because that's unhealthy and you'll die. Why? Because water will make you die. No, drinking four gallons of water in, in an hour will make you die. So there has to be some perspective brought in on these. There has to be somebody who will fight the good fight because Vegan Gains likes to point out about how all of the other YouTubers and supplement companies are putting out things that are harming people and they're putting out false information while Vegan Gains is putting out false information. The difference is Vegan Gains is not doing it to make money. Vegan Gains is doing it to push his agenda for veganism to try to make everyone else look bad. But if all of us sat down and dug into these fucking studies, I think there'd be a big fucking kick in the balls right to him. Pay attention, Vegan Gains. Look at me. Big kick in the balls right to you that you're probably wrong about a lot of shit that you talk about. And the fact that nobody puts the time into this. I mean, I only went to research this. I already knew the fact that L-carnitine wasn't going to fuck you up. How do I know that? Because I've known people that have taken it for shitloads of years since the fucking early 90s and never had one fucking complication. But I don't need a fucking study to tell me it's not going to kill anybody. So I said, okay, let me look into this a little bit. He says it's going to fucking harm people. I've been on it for a long time. Blood work's fantastic. So let me go and look into this. About two minutes later, I find this. I find what was really in those studies. The dosages that were taken. The fucking stupid shit that you didn't put up there to fucking say, okay, here's the deal. If you take a shitload of L-carnitine, it, it could hurt you. Okay? So much so that fucking you would have to probably buy fucking 50 bottles a week. Of some kind of L-carnitine supplement to fucking do this. Okay, so nobody would even spend that much money on it. But instead, you twisted it and turned it to get what you wanted out of it. And actually have people questioning me about taking the supplement. What you're trying to do is make people like me look bad because we use the supplement and recommend it. When you yourself don't even really know about it, what it does, how it works, or what the lethal dosage is, or any kind of issues. You know less about it than we do and you try to make us look bad about it. So this is a video to let everyone know that you, Vegan Gains... You, you, you are full of shit, didn't know what you were talking about, put up false information, didn't look into shit like you should have, you didn't fucking dig like you should have, and the biggest ball breaker of the whole fucking thing is, you are manipulating people, you're manipulating YouTube, you're manipulating the situation to get what you want out of it by not giving everybody all of the information. Here's how it works, this is real life, you want to be a fucking hero? Give everybody all of the information, everything, every piece of the fucking truth. Let them make their decisions on their own as to what the fuck they want to do with their lives and bodies. That's how it should be done. Biowistertraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biowistertraining.com is a blog. It's the L-carnitine bicep. There is L-carnitine in there. And if you pay attention, Vegan Gains, that bicep's a lot different than yours is. And we're out.